So this is where I've kind of landed with my list so far. As you can see, I made a few visual notes to myself for certain things where I do want to highlight the shape of if, if I potentially end up using it as a subject. From now, we're going to um, take all the stuff that came out of our brains and we're going to expand on that visually by doing some visual research. So we're going to pull some references from Pinterest. What I like to do when I'm working on iPad drawing apps is to have this page open on the right side of my screen because I'm right-handed. And then I'm just going to pull up this bar at the bottom and bring up, um, these are recently used apps. So I have Pinterest here and I'm just going to bring it to this side of my screen. So as you can see, I can now access my Adobe Fresco app while also looking at um, some visuals on Pinterest um, that I can either screenshot and bring over to the app um, or I can save into some boards to organize for this project. So I personally like to use Pinterest as my primary um, way of searching for visuals. The reason for this is because I think Pinterest is a rarity in kind of like the social visuals sharing community because it doesn't have such an emphasis on say follower count or how your gallery looks and how much that represents you as a person. It's really about collecting ideas. And so what I like to say of um, the reason why I'm such a proponent, proponent of using Pinterest is that there's a lot of really rich, good ideas here, um, whether they're uh, graphic or application wise, or I use it for apparel design as well, um, but they're displayed in a pretty ugly way. So that keeps people from being inhibited to share their good ideas because you can just throw a photo on there and not worry that it's representing you the same way that Instagram can sometimes feel like it is. So instead of searching for like New York typographic or New York illustration, I'm going to go straight in and look for maybe the West Fourth courts. It's something I want to emphasize. I want to look at different designs of basketball courts from the top down because I think they make a really cool graphic. And I just, A, want to make sure that I get the graphic right and B, get any new ideas about um, maybe some unique courts or different color patterns on courts that I didn't think of before. So I'm going to just look up basketball or and maybe ask for court design. See if anything interesting pops up. So you can see here that I'm getting a lot more expansion of that initial idea of using a basketball court as part of my graphic. Um, there's these like beautiful um, color block courts. There's a lot of artwork on them. So the great thing about working in typographic illustration versus just straight illustration is that there are some boundaries and rules to it that really help you filter in um, ideas um, and see whether or not they fit literally into um, the legible form of a letter. So I'm looking at the word New York and what could potentially fit in to that word that is the shape of a basketball court in one way or another. So far, I'm not totally sure, but all I know that it is a really cool graphic that's on a really basic rectangle shape. So I'm just going to make a note of that, that that's what I thought in that moment when I did that research. So now I'm pretty happy with verbally what I have down as notes, and I just want to expand a little bit visually on it by making um, just more of these little chicken scratch um, visual notes to myself, highlighting the shapes that are a part of um, the elements that I found um, that might be useful for making some type with. So I've just made a few more visual notes to myself. Um, this is not everything I'm going to use, but just off the bat, there's always some things I'm a little bit more excited by that I just want to make sure that I include. Um, something that I thought might be really unique, but might also not work at all, which is pretty um, common of a characteristic for ideas that are really great, they might not be um, legible in the least, but we got to try it, is this kind of arrangement of Morgan Stern's like ice cream uh, storefront with their little ice cream case like on the inside. Maybe you can't see it, but I was like, oh, if this, f maybe if this flips, it can be like an N, like this. This is a backwards N. I don't know. I got to try that out later. Either way, we're going to go ahead and get into the next lesson where we create geometric um, guidelines for our piece.